in the populace, and that's how you control them. Now, what's new? Theater. What's new at the airport? Are they are they still? They're like still grabbing junk. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, the, does the are the the females that work there grab the guy the males the yes. male junk? You mean, yes. you mean like, when you say junk, you mean put their hands down your underwear? That's correct. And feel your, jiggle your genitals? Yeah, that's right. Huh? Yeah. What? You grab your balls, man. Huh? Check your asshole see if you got something up there. They ask you to undo your belt. And you take your belt out of loops, put it in a tray. Right. Because it's got metal on it. That's true. And they... They, uh, uh, if they see something suspicious, they put their hands down your underwear? They, they really touch a guy's balls and, and dick? They grab your junk, man. Isn't that like, uh, sexual contact? What no, they, what, it's, it's, it's called invasion of privacy. But what are they... Or invasion of privates. <laughs> Hold on. Well, what do they expect to find by grabbing a, sh a man's genitals? The underwear bomber. Huh? The underwear bomber. The underwear bomber? Remember? What did he have, C4 in his underwear? Yeah. He was, he was, uh... Detroit, baby. He was going to, uh, sacrifice himself by blowing... Well, he wants his 13 virgins, man. Well, it is it is it is scary and true that C4 can be woven into a jacket or a garment, which is kind of frightening. But but really, people are getting their like uh, is it privately or in public? Depends. Most of the pat down is done in public. If you are called upon or suspected of something more, it may be private. The whole point of it is... That well, I imagine they wear gloves when they touch genitals. Yes, they do. But that's because you may be a filthy person. It's like a urologist. It's protection for them. Well, because you, know, you, as the populace, who have to expose your junk to them, are down below them. Yeah. You are filthy. Or you have to pull your underwear down? I say it depends. But not in private you pull your underwear down. You will be taken aside, and you will you will be given a special you will exam. You will be given a special exam, maybe even a finger up the ass, for a, a little prostate pro massage. A little prostate massage. Yeah. Prostatic. Uh, uh, pros you know, some some adult advertisements uh, are mentioning that prostatic. What do you mean adult? You mean the sex stuff? No, like 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 so-called massage therapy centers. Like uh, if they're usually that's not a, a legitimate sign when they advertise for a prostate. I remember. Massage. I remember a video of this older gentleman, <laughs> uh, German speaking. Yeah, more. And he's supposedly interviewing a young blonde woman. For a line. For some kind of position or something. Oh. Yeah, position. And while he's beginning his uh, interview, he gets interrupted and he walks away and he goes into the bathroom. And he takes, takes the urination. Oh. And he comes back. And then he sits down again and he's about the interview. And, and he got to get up and he goes into the bathroom and he urinates again. He comes back. She grabs him. Sits him on the edge of the desk. Drops his drawers, starts filating him, and sticking her finger up her his asshole. Inflating him? Because she, she believes that it, she knows his problem, and his problem is his prostrate needs to be cleaned out. Notice I said prostrate. Prostrate. Yeah. Like my grandfather used to say. Yeah. Prostrate. <laughs> prostrate. Prostrate. And she did a pretty dang good job, I'll tell you that. Well, the prostate <coughs> it produces uh, se uh, semen. Semen, yeah. semen. Part of it. The, uh, Part of it? Well, the, uh, the sperm, That's spermatozoa, down. That's comes up from the... The scrotum. The balalangans. The scrotum. The balinis. <laughs> the testicles. 
of the uh, trans uh, deferons. The Vaz deferons. What? The Vaz deferons. Vaz deferons? Yeah, you know, where you keep flowers in the vase? Yeah, how come they never, they, they never design, made, they never made a designer vase in the shape of a vase deferons? Well, how the hell do I know? That would be a challenge for, for a sculptor, right? I mean, a vase maker. Attached to police cars, bridges, buildings, and sometimes merely as an app on a police officer's smartphone, scanners die, die. capture images of passing yeah. or parked vehicles and pinpoint their location, vehicle. uploading that information into police databases. Okay. Over time, it's unlikely many vehicles in a covered area escape notice. And with some of the information going into regional databases, encompassing multiple jurisdictions, it's it becoming easier to build a record of where someone has been and when over a large area. While the Supreme Court ruled in 2012 that a judge's approval is needed to use GPS to track a car. Networks of plate scanners allow police effectively to track a driver's location sometimes several times every day with few legal restrictions. The ACLU says the scanners are assembling a single high-resolution image of our lives. There is just a fundamental question of whether we're going to live in a society where these dragnet surveillance systems become routine. The ACLU is proposing that police departments immediately delete any records of cars not linked to any crime. Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> that'll be the day. Yeah, like that cartoon. They don't delete nothing. Like I, I, a cartoon I saw yesterday of uh, somebody walking into the Oval Office and asking President Obama, you know, I wonder uh, how the libertarians feel about us. And Obama says, oh, that's no problem. We'll just, we'll just uh, bring up their, their email information e email email records <laughs> although less thorough than GPS tracking plate readers can produce some of the same information in Minneapolis eight mobile and two fixed cameras captured data on four hundred Point nine million license plates from January to August 2012. Does this electronic uh, system uh, bring up red flags instantly? Like, could they could they run the plate number as yeah, quickly absolutely. as it's quickly as it's as it's photographed? Have you been ever followed by a police car for maybe like five six blocks? Yes. That's what they're doing in those five six blocks. They're running your plate. Yeah, but I never see them do it to... Um, Bad guys? No, no, no. Hold uh, on. I never see them do it to new, more you know, expensive cars. Uh, um, that's possible. They tend to do it... However... They tend to pick and choose... If you were black... They tend to profile. Yeah. And driving one of those big expensive cars, believe me, they'd be running your plate and they'd be pulling you over. Because you don't fit the stereotype. You fit the stereotype of the car stealer, or it could be a rap star, or, the, or in their mind, you could maybe they think you're a drug dealer. You know what I mean? Pimpo? Huh? How about a pimp? A pimp? Ah. Well, a pimp has to wear that big hat with the feather in it. Yeah, the purple one. I like that. I yeah. like that, man. Would you take a photo wearing a hat like that? Hey, some pimps dress pretty dang good. Hey, I got I got a hat, a cowboy, a leopard print cowboy hat for 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 little Jimmy Pesto. 
I found one, and he 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 still has it. Talk about a pimp hat. <laughs> The Star Tribune reported, among those whose movements were recorded, Mayor R.T. Ryback, whose city-owned cars were tracked. No, no relation to the WWE pro wrestling star, Ryback, right. At 41 locations in a year, a Star Tribune reporter's vehicle was tracked seven times in a year placing him at a friend's house three times late at night. So? Other times going to and from work. Maybe he's getting laid. Forming a picture of the date, times, and coordinates of his routine. Coordinates. Beam me up, Scotty. Until the city temporarily classified had such data last year, anyone could ask police for a list of when and where a car had been spotted. As the technology becomes cheaper, more widespread, even small police agencies are able to deploy more sophisticated surveillance systems. The federal government has been a willing partner, offering grants to help equip departments in part as a tool against terrorism. Meanwhile, as they're protecting us in the country, they're doing an awful lot of profiling. They're violating while protecting. That's why the, the protecting is only a a cover for what they're really doing. Don't believe them. Right now, because of Mr. Snowden, who exposed the NSA spying, and they They're it. saying, oh well, our spying uh, protected us from 50 uh, uh, potential terror attacks. See? Oh yeah? Prove it! And Mr. Snowden's expose was demonized by the, the media, right? I, I didn't see... Did, what did MSM, MSNBC say about the Snowden situation? What did, what did uh, uh, Edge... What's his name? Ed, Ed Schultz. Schultz. Yeah, has he said anything about Snowden doing everybody a favor? Uh, yeah, in a sense. Oh, in a sense. But a lot of these people are naive. Well, why didn't he go through the channels? Why didn't he tell his boss? You know why he didn't tell his boss? Because it would have gotten stopped. That's correct. Dead in its tracks. It exactly. Gotten... That's why he didn't tell his boss. Because it, it was it was it was bad before, but under Obama, whistleblowers ain't got a chance. They ain't got well, a chance. Well, the very word whistleblower is is is, is sounds negative. It's not like um, what they really are. Like if you're if you're if you're ratting out something something bad or, or or evil if you're if you're um ratting out a criminal within the government within your own government uh -huh. and you're doing the 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 pop the, the mainstream population a, a big favor. favor yeah yeah you're you are a form of hero exactly but the the term whistleblower has a, 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 a negative, neg connotation. negative connotation, yeah. negative label attached to it. Yeah. And they do a good job to make sure that it stays that way. A whistleblower could be a whistleblower, somebody exposing the CEO of the company he works for, you know, for uh, underhanded tactics and corruption. It could be a politician being exposed, you know, but it's like you can't the forces of, of uh, evil in the criminal mind does not want to get caught or, mm -hmm. or um, be stopped. That's correct. You know, uh, perfect example. And when they have more power than you. Perfect example, corporate welfare. Who would think that a bunch of uh, Wall Street scumbag crooks 
would be getting bailed out with uh, how much? Taxpayer money. Trillions? Trillions! Trillions? Really? Trillions and trillions and trillions. Trillions of uh, not from not from the rich, from the from taxpayers' money, right? Yeah. Interesting. Hey, the Republican, the do nothing Republican Congress, just to, uh, uh, they they just took the taking the whole month of August off mm. for vacation, they're vacation and, again, and they're coming back to work for nine days before they take another. Wow, boy. vacation. How about that? And, and I, I'm sure you know. And they yeah. already do nothing. And, and they spent two million dollars on on pastries and donuts and coffee mm -hmm. of taxpayers' money. Gonna sneeze. Go ahead, sneeze. You gonna sneeze? I was gonna. Oh. Could you imagine that? W uh, taking a month-long vacation, coming back, working nine days. Aha! That's a sneeze. A ka. A ka. A ka. A ka. Yeah, I mean, you take a month off. You. First of all, when you work, you don't work. Right. All, all they know then how to do. Vacation. All they know how to do is repeal Obamacare. Yeah. Over and over and For over the and over. Fortieth time. They don't really pass anything else, so they're gonna. They, so they're gonna come back from a month-long vacation, the Republicans in Congress, and then they're gonna work for nine. Work. I use that <laughs> term very loosely for nine days before they take another big break. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, law, law enforcement officials say the scanners are strikingly efficient. The state of Maryland told the ACLU that troopers could maintain a normal patrol stance while capturing up to 7,000 license plate images in a single eight-hour shift. Well, I mean, it is... There are some good points to the hidden cameras everywhere and the scanners. I mean, uh, what if uh, somebody, innocent person in, in the neighborhood gets mugged and, and possibly beat up? They have them on camera, you know what I mean? So they can apprehend many criminals. Um, could be a bank robber, you know, the getaway car. You know, the, uh, it gets you know how many bank robbers are caught? How many? Not, not, not many. It, there's no cameras facing. The, there's always cameras. The getaway car. They're in the bank. Well, then how do they? They see them when they come to the tunnel. Then how do they not get caught? How? You're asking me. I don't know. This is another one of these things. These cameras Listen. can be effective, and yet they have their downside any 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 business that is susceptible to armed robbery or to robbery from you know a, a team should always have cameras at different angles as to catch the getaway car and its plate its license plate you know not just inside but outside the establishment it only makes sense you know so uh, you know what makes more sense what Preventing the robber from getting there in the first place. How do you do that? I don't know. But it's just, just the same thing as the camera. But you got to apprehend. You don't know that the camera's going to do its job either. Of course. It I'm is. just I'm just pointing up another way of thinking of about the so problem. So what do you do? You 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 you, you understand? You, you do you you do what some extreme liberals do. You you want to. You want you feel sorry for the criminal element. You want to give him counseling and therapy, and you you feel sorry for the for the the, 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 the young punk scumbag. You know what I mean? You got to do something. Some look, old-fashioned justice and deterrent and deterring people is done in an old-fashioned way and harshly. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's after the fact. I'm talking about preventing. I don't know how you can in this world. How can you prevent bad things from happening in this world? God reads the heart. So what is that going to do? Well, this I'm just pointing up another way of thinking about the problem. You got to deal with the problem. Yeah, do we have to deal with it with cameras or preventing it? Well, I tell you one thing: the cameras and with the scanners and everything 
are a lot better than profiling people like what Ray Kelly does in New York City. I like the cameras much better than profiling somebody because of what they look like. But we didn't have to use cameras in the old days. We well, still got crooks. Except the ones that we let go by, like uh, Cal Capone. No, they you got know, that pay off they, the they, people. They, they got crooks in the, they got crooks the old fashioned way. They caught them by having enough a uh, person Columbo. No, they had they had enough police officers, both uniform and undercover, working for the police force. They had they had enough out there. And they worked for eleven thousand dollars a year, like Colombo. Is that what Colombo got? Yeah. Is that why Colombo drove around in a piece of junk? Yeah, a Renault and an old raincoat. How the hell do you get people to put their safety on the line in law enforcement by paying them 11000 a year? I think Bloomberg doesn't pay New York City cops that much, for, for starters. To start yeah, but see, you're thinking about it entirely. 25. Well, Colombo was a guy that that's, that's what he did. Homicide. Detective, right? That's what he did. That's what he wanted to do. That was his call. That was his call. His calling in life. Right. So it didn't matter. You know the old saying: If you love what you're doing, you won't work a day in your you life. You won't work a day in your life. Okay. That's Colombo. So it just happened to be that that particular calling was not lucrative for Lieutenant Colombo. That's all. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, didn't yeah? Mayor Bloomberg cut the um, the uh, subway security down, <laughs> from what I understand. You know, I don't know if he has power over that. Well, that's how does he? You, that's how they caught crooks in the old days. Those are transit police. You, no, the different. Uh, is I it, think they are paid by the, the MTA. Not on, the MTA? Yeah. They're not. They're not under Ray Kelly's jurisdiction. I don't think so. So, <clears throat> yeah. Well, they were caught. Your your previous question. My answer is there were a lot more s staff. Uh, are, uh, um. Uh, law enforcement personnel on the streets available, working. That's how they caught people the old-fashioned way. Yeah, there was a cop that you knew who was your buddy who was on the beat. You had cops on the beat. You had cops in the cars. You know? You didn't have, uh, not these, I don't mean these silly... It's alienated, fascist, military, SWAT police. Oh, they all came out of the woodwork when the little college kids were protesting mm -hmm. at Zuc Zucchini Park. Zucchini. Oh, I mean... Uh, Zucate. Zucati, Zucati. Zucati Park. Uh, the, we're talking about uh, Occupy Wall Street. Yeah. They were there to spray mace in little girls' faces and kick them in the face. Yeah. I think that happened in Oakland, California, or, or Southern Cal. Well, it happens all over. Yeah, roughing up a bunch of little, little, little college girls. Yeah, they they were there for that. They don't have guns, so, you know. But heaven forbid they should like arrest... The pornographers, too. Go after the pornos because they don't have guns. Heaven forbid they should arrest any of those real crooks on Wall Street. Oh, no, no, no. no. no, 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 no. Those are Bloomberg's... Uh, they don't go there either. Buddy boys. They don't go there either. Oh, no. <coughs> the records add up quickly in, in Jersey City. The population is 250,000. Jersey City? But the city collected more than 2 million plate images in a year. Because the city keeps records for five years. You could fill up the prisons really fast with Jersey City, I bet. The ACLU estimates? And Newark. It has some 10 million on file. And Patterson and Camden. Making it possible for police to plot the movements of most residents depending on the location of the skin. Well, it can do a lot of good, but it also can enhance the uh, police state, the fascist police state that we have now. It can uh, also uh, make it worse than what it is. But, again, we have a Fourth Amendment to our Constitution, mm -hmm. which is supposed to protect everybody in their private 
papers and etc. Et that is true. That is true. And if you have a problem with somebody, you think he's a crook or something, you're supposed to go to a judge and get a warrant. Warrant. Well, a person should be pulled over and searched based on just cause. Oh! Just cause. Is stop and frisk just cause? Just because you, 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 you don't like somebody's appearance? That's what it's based on, isn't it? Just because. No, it says profiling. <laughs> that, that's, no, just because is not just cause. Exactly. Just cause means that the person did something suspicious or may have a record or, or the person is, in, is doing something suspicious in progress not based on what they look like. I don't care if they look like Charles Manson. I don't, I don't care if they look like uh, like a caveman or something. You know what I mean? It, 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 they're innocent until they do something suspicious. So anyway, uh, how much more of this reading do you have? That's it. That's it. Okay, that's enough. Of that particular one. All right. Where's my rack of horns here? <coughs> My horns are rack. Thank you for joining us for this week's Progressive Discussions. Uh, this is the last day of our heat wave, and we are very happy to see it go. And, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it was a good, informative, progressive discussion. So, uh, of course. Well, we didn't change the world. We didn't change the world, of right, course. Yes. Uh, we expected that. Uh, our Chiseler's Hall of Shame, which I forgot to mention. Oh. Uh, our inductee is the uh, the CEO and executives of his family. They shouldn't get all these hits. Uh, this shows you where America's going, Dr. Bill. The mentality of the average American. Definitely trash, definitely degeneration. De-evolution, like Devo used to say, right? <laughs> De-evolution. But anyway. We are men. We are not men. We are Devo. Remember that? Yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Say so long to these jabronis. So long, jabronis. Two million viewers, but heaven forbid anything educational on television or on the Internet, anything worth watching that you could learn something from heaven forbid that should get two million viewers on the first day like it two viewers you know two yeah. viewers yeah I mean that should go virus go viral rather go viral not some re stupid asinine obnoxious little fat obese big mouth kid like honey boo boo